We had one of our customers send us a request for a video and he wanted us to do a video about our top are our favorite tools in the shop. So we decided to do that day. That's a really good idea. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take you from five to one as far as my personal favorite tools around here that I couldn't do the job without. So a number five, and this kind of comes in a few years ago, uh, but is the drill doctor. A lot of you guys can sharpen drill bit by hand. I'm not that guy. I do more harm than I do good. So purchased a drill doctor. The drill doctor was important for us a few years ago back when we were drilling a lot of frames on Dodge trucks doing uh, fast installs. Uh, back then you had to drill a couple of holes, three holes for the mounting block. You don't have to do that anymore. But still the drill doctor is still one of the most valuable tools that we've got around here. If you're doing any kind of drilling and you've got good drill bits and you want to keep them, you don't want to have to go and buy drill bits every time you want to drill a hole, drill doctor has definitely been worth its weight in gold. In fact, I told them one time if they got rid of the drill doctor, they're getting rid of me too. So now our number four tool is going to be the impact driver. If you haven't seen one of these, and today's, today's Diesel U is brought to you by a Snap-on, no, just kidding. Uh, impact driver, if you haven't seen one of these, these come in a kit, uh, usually come with several uh, Phillips head and straight head uh, sockets inside of here. What this thing is for is you load this. So if I, let's say I've got a uh, bolt that just won't come off by a normal ratchet. I can set this, put a socket on it, put the socket on the bolt, hit it with a hammer, and as you hit, this actually twists and it will get a stuck fastener out for you really, really nice. Um, it is really good because some of the extractors that we have now are 3 8 drive. They're 3 8 drive, so this will accept one of those extractors. I can take the extractor, put it on a, a uh, rounded off bolt. I can put the impact driver on it, hit it with a hammer, and it'll come off every time. So this is a really, really neat little old tool. Um, super, super helpful to have. Number three for me has been bore scope. Uh, we purchased, I purchased this bore scope years ago. This is an older one. This is way outdated now. They're much smaller. Uh, this one was actually color. Uh, it zooms in. This is really good if you're chasing down. Um, if you're chasing down oil leaks on trucks, uh, especially on trucks that have got tight engine bays like Duramaxes and the power trucks, if you're chasing down an oil leak or something like that, you can use this for that. Um, this has got a very good resolution screen even for its age. Uh, now they're much smaller. You can get them with very small cameras on them. You can go in through glow plug holes or uh, in the injector cups and see the condition of a piston. If you're looking at a, a truck that's got down compression, if you just want to take a sneak peek at it and see what's going on if the piston split or uh, ring wash or whatnot, the bore scope was a really, really helpful tool. This has got me out of a, a bunch of jams. Next, for me, probably number two is a good ball joint press kit. Now, uh, this one from Snap-on, this is their ball joint master kit. This is quite expensive. Uh, if you are doing a lot of front end dodge and forward work, doing ball joints on them, you've got to buy this kit. This is kit's going to pay for itself very, very quickly for you. Uh, if you're just a home guy and you've got a straight axle truck, uh, there are cheaper versions of this by other companies. Uh, I don't know any of the names of them, but definitely a ball joint press kit is something that's going to have. If you're going to have a solid axle vehicle, you're going to have to change ball joints and I promise you, it doesn't matter what you pay for this kit or what kit you wind up going with. If you have one that it, that will allow you to cut your time in a quarter or cut cut it in half, removing the ball joints or putting the, pressing your new ball joints in, this is the way to go. Ball joint press kit, solid front axle. Doesn't do you Chevrolet guys with IFS any good, but it's good for the Ford and Chevrolet guys. Number one for me has been power impacts, cordless impacts. Uh, like this one right here, this is an older model Snap-on. Uh, the new models, they've got uh, 18 volt AGM battery. Uh, this, is a, this one is a 14 and a half volt, like I said. But these things have been invaluable since we use them. Uh, we've, been, we've had them, I think, since Snap-on pretty much came out with them. You can get some of these 3 8 models now that have got enough torque in them to break a lug nut off of a three-quarter ton ton truck. Just a really, really nice unit. If you want to know the uh, how helpful these uh, cordless impacts are, 
just about everybody's got a cordless drill. Take a cordless drill and get you a quarter inch drive adapter for it. Use it one day just around your shop doing some stuff and you'll see, and even that doesn't have a whole lot of torque on it, but you'll see how, how important these are. We've got these in uh, side ratchets, quarter inch drive, three eighths drive, half inch drive. The half inch drive guns are, are really, really bad. A lot of different companies make them. We use Snap-on. I know most of your DeWalt guys and stuff are coming out with impact kits uh, now, of course, impact kits. So anything to help you save some time uh, is going to be great for you in the shop. So that's my top five. Um, there's a lot of other things that I run into every day. You know, some of the swivel ratchets that we've got that you couldn't live without. Ratcheting wrenches that you couldn't live without. Four inch lady fingers that probably couldn't live without. But these five things right here have gotten me out of several, several jams. I don't know that I could do the job that I've done today without these tools. Uh, so yeah, so those are my top five. Leave your top five or your top 10 or your top whatever tools in the comments below. Like and subscribe subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.